Here at Lakeland Animal Shelter, we house many types of animals, from small to large. They all await patiently for their forever homes. My name is Kristen Perry. I'm the Executive Director of the Lakeland Animal Shelter and uh, have been here for um, almost 20 years. With the current facility, uh, in order to accommodate the volume of animals, not just that we take in annually, but the fact that we have at any given time 40 to 60 dogs and 200 to 400 cats, is taken everything that even remotely was scheduled in the beginning when it was built to be human space and made it animal space. So there's very little space for the humans which makes it hard for the animals because the humans can't get to the animals. So one of the things that we're really, really excited about to open our new facility is, in particular, it just allows far more interaction with the people and the animals. My name is Lynn Sabo and I work at the Lakeland Animal Shelter. I've worked at the Animal Shelter for 16 years. In February, we started a new program. We were so successful with our adoptions taking animals locally that we knew there was a need um, outside of our, our immediate community with help with taking dogs in and we decided to open um, a new program, um, our transport program called Operation Rescue where we started locally pulling dogs um, from Milwaukee County that ended up at a shelter there and we started accepting dogs outside of our county that we could place up for adoption and move into homes quicker. Um, we opened our doors even further and started taking dogs from Houston, Texas. We started working with a rescue group there called Lola's Lucky Day. Lola's Lucky Day has a partner group that they work with called Patty's Paws that's in Fort Atkinson and that's how we heard about Lola's Lucky Day was from one of their foster homes that started volunteering at the shelter, told us about Lola's Lucky Day in Houston and the need to transport dogs out even if that meant transporting them out of Texas into other states. My name is Larissa Gavin and I started Lola's Lucky Day in January of 2015. My sister had adopted a dog from Corridor Rescue a couple years prior and we went to go see where the dog came from. Um, it's a bad area of Houston known as the Corridor and it's about 10 miles from downtown Houston. Um, there's dogs just roaming around the street. Uh, they don't belong to anybody. Um, and then the cycle just continues because they're not spayed or neutered. Whenever I saw that, I decided I wanted to do something about it. And I'm originally from Wisconsin, and I knew firsthand that they did not have the same problem there. And um, I got into contact with some of my friends at local, um, the local shelters in Wisconsin, and also um, Patty's Paws. In Texas, the dog population is growing to overwhelming numbers. This shelter, for instance, takes in an average of 80 dogs a day. These dogs are given three days to get adopted out. Most are not even given those three days. As the numbers grow, organizations sprout up to relocate these dogs to more promising locations in the country, such as Wisconsin, where eager adopters are waiting. Our rescue works with organizations in Wisconsin to help find homes for these really great dogs that otherwise wouldn't have a chance here. So um, we vet them, get them healthy here first, and once they're ready to go, we send them to Wisconsin in our transport vehicle. Every, I can honestly also say that every single dog that I've rescued has just had this thankful attitude. They're appreciative and they know that you gave them a chance and they're just amazing dogs that make wonderful pets. So it really changed my perspective of the type of dogs that you find in a shelter because these dogs are amazing and um, they're beautiful dogs. You can show your support to Lakeland by donating food, cleaning supplies, or financial contributions. With donations such as these, the shelter is able to expand its horizon and create a better environment for the animals. Lakeland Animal Shelter is located at 3551 on Highway 67 in Delavan, Wisconsin. The new shelter's soft opening will be on May 7th, and it is located next to the current facility.